What's up guys, it's Swift from the One Hype 2.0 family, coming at you with another recap video. After four long weeks of waiting since our last video, I do want to take the time to apologize for not being able to get these videos out uh, in a timely manner. However, I did have a new job change, um, so been busy with the, uh, not only the CWL, uh, but also training uh, on my new job, so I've had very limited time to get these out. Um, but I'm back, and I'm back on track, and I'm excited to get these videos out for you, so um, let's dive right in. So we have an epic matchup versus One Hive Genesis in a random spin, beating us on percent 78 to 78 as the final war results. We were missing one attack, so that might have uh, made the difference had they made the attack, but um, overall they played a little bit better. Uh, they uh, won more attacks and had more three stars, so... Either way you look at it, it was a really fun war uh, to be part of. Uh, so proud of our guys, and it's uh, it's always good to have these uh, random elite wars uh, leading into your CWL match uh, at the end of the week. Uh, it's a great warm up. So uh, proud of our guys. It was a fun war. Starting us off with a Timbe eleven Lee versus Todd. Um, I can say kind of poor base design, but it was a good attack nonetheless. Uh, using an interesting comp here, we got two golems, uh, 13 bowlers, and a small laloon portion uh, to get the job done. Um, starting off the raid with three archers, I'm going to gain quite a bit of value here, probably roughly about 5%. Um, pinching the, the goal is here to pinch the corners here, and he does a nice job here with his golem and bowlers. I'm uh, going to go ahead and rage him up. Gaining a lot of structures here, and then just one little corner here. So a lot of value with that uh, small little push there. And then at 6 o'clock, he's going to start his small loom portion, as you'll see now. Um, dropping his loons in. Going to go ahead and rage early. Uh, takes a black uh, air-seeking mine, but it doesn't make a difference here. He's going to gain a lot of uh, splash damage. Also scoring some non-defensive structures. Uh, gaining a lot of percent here, and also pulling the CC, which is good. So uh, dropping his last jump spell here and then the rest of his golem uh, bowlers excuse me uh with his king and queen uh they have nowhere else to go but up the middle straight to that town hall so we're going to get a lot of value here uh dropping his poison here to kind of soften the uh damage <coughs> taking a few bomb hits here as well uh, on top of the inferno uh, towers tearing away at uh his kill squad but it doesn't matter we get a huge value from those bowler skips uh, getting the town hall, which uh, might have made the difference in this raid, uh, but nonetheless, he still has this queen ability, uh, which is going to uh, <coughs> get the uh, remaining 2% that he needs uh, to get the job done here. So, popping his queen ability now uh, to phase through and get that last percent here. So, good raid. That's what we like to see, baby. And if that wasn't already good enough, we have one more 10v11 here to show off. HB versus Super Jared 93. Solid gobo attack on this base. Pretty standard comp. Uh, dropping Golem, uh, or excuse me, Quake in, into the core to soften up the TH. Um, and then the Golem at 9 o'clock with some bowlers behind him. Going to create that nice bit of funnel there. Uh, getting a lot of value from that. Uh, uh, a large amount of percent. Uh, does the same thing at 12, but this time she's going to go ahead and rage to kind of get those uh, uh, compartments uh, taken care of. She will leave that uh, archer tower standing, however, there won't be much left of it. Uh, so they're going to make quick work of it. I do want to apologize for the screen tear, and I had a little connection error here, but uh, we're going to go ahead and push through it. Dropping a um, jump spell into the core, and then the uh, barbarian king and the golem to tank. Filtering in the bowlers behind and uh, along with the queen. Going to gain a lot of value here from the uh, uh, rage into the core here. They don't have anywhere else to go but the town hall. Uh, so, great job setting that funnel initially. She drops a uh, baby dragon early to start gaining that percent. Knocks out that uh, remaining archer tower here. So, she's still got, uh, she's already at 43%. She's going to gain that town hall with the bowlers and the queen. And still has her queen ability, so we're in good shape so far. She breaks through that wall. Uh, gonna have to go ahead and pop the queen ability here due to the inferno tower bearing down on her. 
Uh, we're sitting pretty at 49%. Uh, luckily, she did have a wizard and two archers left remaining. Uh, that mortar was in range, but it's not going to matter because it'll take out the archers and the uh, wizard will be left standing. So great job there. That was good planning. Uh, solid attack. Solid effort. And next up we have a 9v9 Grizzly vs. Garab with a La Loon. He's going to gain some uh, great value with these wizards at 6 o'clock to uh, create that funnel for the uh, Barbarian King to go in and snipe that queen. Uh, using a naked queen at 3 o'clock, she's going to score that external air defense and a few other structures. So this is good, perfectly timed and executed uh, funnel at 6 o'clock. Pre-poisoning the enemy archer queen, he's going to uh, rage the barbarian king up to go ahead and kill her while she's outside of that uh, compartment. Pulls the CC out of the way, uh, so it's going to make quick uh, work of this base pretty much. Gets early Tesla pops, so they are aggroing the lava hound, uh, which is great for the loons. It's going to go haste right through them. Even though we're against the air sweeper, it's not going to make a difference. We have a million haste on this base. I'm um, going to go ahead and rage through this uh, air defense uh, compartment with the Wiz Tower. And starting at 12, he starts his uh, second uh, phase of the Law Loon. Um, and sends the backside loons to kind of help up uh, with the external structures, such as that cannon. Uh, we have one air defense left up. All Lava Hounds have been, uh, well, we have one left up. So I guess the placement of his loons. Uh, were a little bit too good and that is possible but as you can see we have a quite a bit a of uh, lava pups uh up for cleanup all around the base the loons do a perfect split in the middle of the base uh excellent excellent work there uh, as you can see the lava hound wasn't fully moved out of the way and that pup is on them right now after the lava pups finish at the uh, uh enemy camp at seven o'clock uh, they're going to aggro onto the enemy hound, but it's not going to make a difference. This base is pretty much toast at this point. All we have left is a barracks and two gold mines and the town hall. Um, and he's just going to run right through them. So uh, excellent work. We got a little swaggy in the middle of the base with the haste. Didn't even need it. So solid effort there with Grizzly, my man, the one and only. Lastly, we're going to show one more 9v9 here. Lazarus coming at you with another dragon attack. This guy is solid, and let me tell you, he, he comes up with the most unique strategies here. So we're going to drop a golem at 6 o'clock with a few wizards left and right. I'm going to make that uh, nice little funnel here. Put the king on the town hall. Mm, wizards doing work on those elixir uh, swords and gold, mine, uh, gold swords. Breaks in that wall. Just at the corner here, and the golem and the king are going to both go in. And actually drops the queen behind as well. Going to uh, kind of get that good range amount so we can uh, start knocking out some of these structures here uh, to make uh, the funneling process for these dragons just a little bit easier. Draw to CC. It is a hound, so we're not going to have much of an issue. Uh, with the ray with that kind of CC so Queen's still do, uh, going strong uh, and he goes ahead and drops the dragons at 3 o'clock it is against the sweeper however uh, these types of troops have a large amount of HP so uh, under rage they're going to blow through these uh, defense structures uh, fairly quickly saving his La Loon portion just a little bit longer as uh, the king, the dragons uh, make their way th towards those air defense, um, they the air defense does, however, aggro the dragon, um, which I think in this case he could have dropped his hound just a little bit sooner along with the loons, um, but uh, it's not going to matter too much here. Uh, the queen is still up at the bottom, the dragon's still going strong, and uh, the hound had already popped, but he saved his hill at the perfect time, uh, just right before he went to these wizard towers. But they had aggroed the dragons, so um, they're essentially at full HP, um, blowing through these last bit of uh, defenses here. So raids looking good so uh, so far. Uh, we have three dragons left up, a few uh, pups left, 
uh, for cleanup and we're just going to kind of sandwich in the last bit uh, of this raid to clean up so loom gets back on the uh, uh, archer tower and makes quick work at that queen finally busts out of the wall uh, and is cleaning up the rest of these and the elixir pump goes down with ease no problem so great raid by Lazarus, uh, one of our best Town Hall 9 attackers uh, this far. So uh, super proud of you, man. Uh, you do fantastic work. I can see big things uh, for you in the future. So keep up the good work. And hey, if you're looking for a more competitive side of Clash of Clans, come check out the OneHive 2.0 family. We do not take any in-game apps. So you will have to apply through our Discord server. However, that is in our clan description. So come check us out. We'd be glad to have you. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the more videos to come.